First things first, let us clarify what x is. In algebra, we may see 3x plus 5 is equal to 11, or x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, etc. What does x mean? The x is used to represent a number that we do not know, an unknown. That is to say, if we are told that when we multiply 3 by some number, then add 5, the result is 11. The first equation is how you will represent it. And as you will see later on, we can then use this representation to determine what the number is. In this case, that number is 2. 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6, plus 5 is equal to 11. What about x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0? What number, when squared, that is of course multiplied by itself, then added to 2 times itself, then subtract 3 would give 0. You can agree that this is a bit more difficult to solve mentally. Representing it in algebraic form gives us the opportunity to find out what that number is by using some methods we will learn later on. You may have some questions. Is x always the same? Well, in each scenario, in each question, the value of x is a number and that number does not change. Of course, in another scenario, x, the unknown, may be different. You may ask, is x always used to represent the unknown number? No. You can use any letter you wish. Even Greek letters are used. Theta, alpha, beta. Further, in one scenario, there may be more than one unknown. For instance, later in simultaneous equations, there are two unknowns and we generally use x and y. But like I said, it makes no difference if you use a and b instead. Another example in trigonometry to come, we'll talk about six variables. Common ABC and capital ABC. In which case, up to three of these variables could be unknown. So, what questions do you have that I may have missed? Ask the questions in the comments below. Okay, some examples. Number one, three times the sum of x and y. The sum of x and y is x added to y. And then we want three times this. So it's three multiplied by x plus y. It is common to omit the multiplication sign in algebra. So we get 3 multiplied by x plus y. A second example, 12 less than the product of m and n. The product of m and n, it's m multiplied by n. We do not need to put in the multiplication sign. And 12 less than this. 12 less than that means that mn take away 12. 12 less than 100 is 100 take away 12, which is 88. So 12 less than mn is mn subtract 12. A third example, 3 times the result of x minus 4. x subtract 4. And then we have 3 times the result of this. So it's 3 multiplied by the result of x minus 4. Again, we omit the multiplication sign. A fourth example, when x is added to a number and the sum is divided by 2, the result is 3. So x is added to a number, the number is unknown, so we represent that number as, let's say, x. So 4 is added to an unknown number, x. And the sum, 4 plus x, is divided by 2. The result is 3. That is to say it's equal to 3. And a final example. 4 more than twice x. Twice x is 2 multiplied by x or 2x. And 4 more than that would be you add 4. And there you have it. 5 examples showing how to translate to and from statements to algebraic expressions. Well, that is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, 
If you appreciate what I'm trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.